We have more than 100 countries represented at Polytechnic Montreal. We have the masters, we have a non-thesis masters, and we have research-based masters as well as a PhD. Hi all, welcome back to our channel. Myself Jodhis Thomas, an international PhD student at Polytechnic Montreal, Canada. This is a special episode devoted to all the international students who wish to pursue their studies at Polytechnic. Today in this vlog, we have Mrs. Mood Barosa, who is a senior advisor to future students and graduate studies student recruitment department in Polytechnic Montreal for the past eight years. She is the right person who can help international students to resolve their questions and doubts regarding admission procedures and their studies at Polytechnic Montreal. Ms. Moda, it's our pleasure to have you here. So I invite you to share your thoughts on several study and admission related questions at Polytechnic Montreal. Hi Justice, thank you very much for reaching. Let's start by answering a few questions. How long is the admission process and what are the courses available at Polytechnic Montreal? So first, we have to know that every school and Polytechnic is not an exception. We have deadlines to, um, to follow. And these deadlines are set according to the time it takes to get um, the admission letter and all the immigration papers that you need to come legally to Canada afterwards. Um, so this process is about six to seven months long. Um, so the deadline application for Polytechnic for every admission semester is set um, between six to seven months prior to the start of studies. And about the courses available at Polytechnic for the graduate studies, we have three different programs. Um, so we have the masters, we have a non-thesis masters, and we have uh, uh, research-based masters as well as a PhD. Um, so the structure of these three programs are completely different. Uh, we have different graphics on our website, so we will uh, refer to the website. You can find the link uh, underneath this video. Um, so the two masters will be the same length. One will be focused on to research. So for those who want to um, deepen uh, uh, one subject into what they've done in their engineering field at the undergrad level. And the professional masters is more focused into courses. So there is um, mostly courses based and then to which we had either a small internship in a lab of one of our professors or an internship into a company um, located in Montreal, other uh, outside of Montreal, um, somewhere else in Canada or anywhere uh, abroad. So we accept any kind of internship, um, no matter if they are in Montreal or not. And the PhD, Many people know what is a PhD. It's a long research process, um, three to four years mostly. Um, so it's uh, really focused into research. Thank you. And what are the admission procedures? Um, so this, the procedures will be um, uh, slightly different uh, regarding if you, again, apply for the professional master or a research program. If you want to apply for um, for professional master, French will be mandatory. So we will firstly ask you to submit a proof of language proficiency. We accept uh, many tests. We can give the reference on the website where you can check all the, the exams that are accepted and the, the minimum level of French that is accepted. So French, um, but, and also we ask you only to apply online and send the document. So th these are the two steps. If you want to apply for a research program, um, so we give advice to students to first, before applying online, to try to make a match with a professor, um, reaching him uh, by, or her by email. So you send email through um, through uh, web expertise that we have, where we, we reference all the professors at the technique with their research experience, and you can contact those who match better your, your interest. Once you have identified the professors that match your interest, then you can send them emails, sending resumes, why you would like to work with them, and if they have space in their research team. And that is where you can ask also if the project, if they have a project, if that project is uh, is founded, if there is financial funding 
um, provided with the project. So it means, would you get um, money for your studies while working on that project? So this would be the first step. And once you have a match made with a professor, then you can apply online and sending your documents. And documents would be um, either French or English exam. Uh, some countries are exempted. So if you come from India, note that no uh, English exam would be requested for the research-based or PhD program. Um, we will ask you for a resume, uh, motivation letter, um, marks, re report card, and yeah. diploma, birth certificate, and um, recommendation letter, but this one is optional. So okay. um, you can you can send one for uh, helping in, in being approved by the professor you have founded, um, but it's not mandatory. So that's the only document that is not mandatory. Thank you. And how do students apply for a scholarship and what are the scholarship opportunities that we have at Polytech? Yeah, we know that studying abroad uh, makes us a lot of money. Um, it's a big decision of moving out of his family, finding an apartment, um, learning how to cook, uh, do the, your groceries and pay the tuition fees. So the fees may be a bit higher than staying at home. Uh, so in this case, you may be looking for scholarships. There's different kind of scholarship that we have to know, um, depending if you opt for a non-thesis master's or a research-based master's or PhD. So we will separate into um, professional programs, so not including research and research programs. For the professional programs, it's kind of hard to find scholarships um, because the students will work on his own resume, own experience. So the graduate studies will benefit to the students and not to society in general. So the, the benefit you will be awarded after your studies will be that you'll get a better job, you'll, you'll have a job that is more focused into your interests, so you'll be working for yourself. So that's the reason why it's harder to find scholarship. You may be able to find some in your own country, in Canada, but just keep in mind that probably you'll be funding your own studies um, by yourself. If we look for the research slide, um, there is many scholarships um, regarding what I explained before, because you'll be benefiting the society of your research, of what you'll be deep in, in your lab with your supervisor, with your publications. Um, so first of all, you may be able to find a professor, a research uh, advisor that will be able to give you, to provide you with financial uh, um, money uh, regarding the work you'll be doing with him. So um, this scholarship is the most interesting because it will help you not only um, pay for your tuition fees, but you will still have money to pay for your living expenses in Montreal. So that's a really good one. But you have to discuss this with your research supervisor if there is funding related to um, the project you'll be working on. Um, so this is a matter of the professor and the availability of funds for the project you'll be assigned to. Other than that, there is also some scholarship that you could look to um, either from uh, industrial chairs that the professor may be attached to, um, some uh, scholarship related to Canadian government or Quebec government. So we have a website that will give you the link uh, in the bio um, that you can just click and browse according to your situation. So are you international students? Um, which country are you coming from? which uh, engineering uh, field are you researching on so there is different little aspects that will uh, give you uh, eligibility to some scholarship or not so this is a whole browser that you can just click and find what apply to your situation thank you and how much is the fee for international students the fees um, in this case also differ uh, depending if you're a non-thesis uh, program so let's talk about the uh, professional master or the non-thesis masters and the research um, programs that are the research-based masters and the PhD. So for the non-thesis masters, uh, we talk about a number of credits associated to a fee. Um, but generally, the, um, the, the master will take two years and it's a total of 45 credits. So for this total of 45 credits, um, the, the fee will be of $37,500. So let's count a little bit less than $40,000. Um, this will be spread into two years, according to two semesters, two, three semesters a year, and we spread out the, the bill. Oh.
to every semester. So it's not a full amount of money that you have to pay um, in once. Regarding the research programs, um, the research-based master uh, will be payable for the first year is a bigger amount of uh, money and the second year is way less, but total would be around $33,000 for the two years program. And do not forget that, uh, that there is funding available that we just discussed before um, if your project is founded by your research uh, supervisor. So that's a way of, uh, of funding your studies. And for the PhD, we have a full exemption of um, the tuition fees that are usually charged to international students. So if you're um, looking for a PhD, that's a really, really interesting option for you um, since every student pays the same. Um, no matter if you're a Quebec student, Canadian student, or international student, there is equality in between every student. Um, so the fees are about $4,000 per year, which makes a PhD of three years or four years between twelve dollars and $16,000. Um, and we always talk about Canadian dollars, so not American dollars. Really, it's Canadian because you come to study in Montreal and Canada. Thank you. Can students work alongside their studies in Canada? That's a good way of um, founding your, your studies, is working during your studies. So there is um, two, two things that you have to know. So with your uh, study permit, uh, the ca Canadian government gives you the access of working um, 20 hours per week outside of the campus and full time on the campus. So this is um, given to all the students that arrives in Canada with a study permit. So it's a good way of founding your studies and give uh, get extra money for paying your living expenses. And when you're in vacation, it doesn't happen very often when you're doing research because research is all year long. But if you come for a non-thesis prof uh, professional master's, then you will be mostly studying in the fall semester and the winter semester, which uh, will allow you to work on full time um, during the, the, uh, the summer period and the Christmas vacation, which are two weeks in December, early January. Thank you. Will Polytechnic help students to find jobs in Canada? And how is the recruitment process? So as I mentioned before, the non-thesis uh, masters, which are called the professional masters, allow you to do an internship. So if you go with this kind of program um, and you have an internship to do, we have a service that can help you finding um, your internship. So you have help provided on this way. And if you graduate for either research-based master or PhD, um, or a professional master also, we have help to find a, a job after you finish your studies. But obviously with an internship, with the help of your research supervisor, you will be tons of contact in Montreal, abroad, because of conferences, of uh, friends that you've known from other universities working in the same field. So you'll, you'll have tons of contact to find a job um, wherever you want in the world. But obviously, if you need our help, we'll be there for you. Thank you. Can students bring their dependents with them to Canada? We understand that at the graduate level, you have a certain age. So sometimes you don't come alone. So you will come, as you mentioned, Jyotis, um, with children, spouse, husband. Um, so there is a lot of facilities for you to bring your relative to Canada. Um, so this will happen when you ask for your study permit um, to the Canadian government. You'll have the option on clicking, I have children, I need to bring my children with me. I have uh, a spouse or husband. Uh, I, I would like to have a work permit for that person. So this is all possible. You just have to click on the right options when asking for your, your study permit to the Canadian government. So we have all this information provided on our website also. Thank you. The Quebec Inter-University Transfer Agreement allows students to pursue courses from any of the province's universities, which is very helpful for international students. So, can you please give more details on this? Yeah, we haven't talked about uh, the documents that you would need for, for application, but sometimes um, when we talk about the language of the school, because uh, Polytechnique is a French school, uh, but we allow research students to do everything in English. So we have all the facilities for um, students to do their studies in English when they are focused into research. So either research-based masters or PhD. But no matter if you're doing research or not, 
we allow um, students at the graduate level to do up to half of their course credit outside of Polytechnique Montreal. So there is um, language courses those also available at the uh, Université de Montréal, which are located in the same campus because we belong, we are affiliated together. But if you want to do engineering courses um, given in English at some English uh, language universities located in Montreal, that's also possible. So uh, up to half of your course credits in a professional programs, but you can do all of your credits if you're doing research outside of Polytechnique Montreal um, in a university located in the same province um, and our province is called Quebec province and in Montreal there is seven universities so you have a lot of options for doing your courses outside of Politique in Montreal if there is anything of interest um, so uh, so there is a lot of courses options for you and it's only um, administrative uh, process. So you don't have to register to other university. It's all an internal process that you have to do. Um, and the marks that you get at the other universities are brought back to your report card at Polytechnique and you keep paying your tuition fees at Polytechnique Montreal. Thank you. And what are the services offered for graduate students at Polytechnique? First of all, we have the student services that provide to especially um, international students that are coming from many, many countries. We have more than 100 countries represented at Polytechnique Montreal that welcome you, give you all the information you need to settle down, find an apartment, uh, located the, the neighborhood. Um, if you have um, any, um, any difficulty in, in the courses, they give you support. Um, they, they follow you through the, the path of your studies uh, from the beginning all the way to the end and they give you very good support. As you mentioned, we also have the library and since Polytechnic Montreal is an engineering school, it's not a faculty of engineering into a big school, the library is only about engineering. So that's a big plus that we offer to our students. Um, and we have the SEPSUM. SEPSUM is the sports center. Um, it's uh, shared between an uh, Université de Montréal campus um, to which we belong. So we have uh, uh, different course uh, of tennis, basketball, uh, climbing. We have uh, many high quality sports. If you're uh, into uh, American football at high level, you can practice and, and join the team. Uh, we have hockey. If you want to initiate yourself to this, this winter sport, if you've never uh, experienced uh, the ice. So there is a lot of opportunity that we provide to our students. We also have a medical center only for students that's really appreciated to students um, and uh, it's included in the medical insurance that you get as an international student coming to Polytechnique Montreal. Thank you. I believe this session was very informative. I'm sure it will be useful for all the international students who wish to study at Polytechnique Montreal. Special thanks to you Mrs. Maud Barossa. This would not have been possible without you. Also, please do not hesitate to contact our student advisors for future students at Polytechnic Montreal. I believe all of you liked this vlog. If you liked it, please do like and share this video. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.